Hello everyone and welcome back to Reconquest and welcome to the Trapped Mode. The Trapped Mode is essentially a series of challenge maps and they are single player content and non-skirmish content but they're not part of the campaign. So let's start with the first one, Hammer, where we play as the Outlaw Clan. Sometimes there's no choice other than going forward. The only question is who will stand the strikes. Well, we'll find out. Okay, here we go. We have to get out of this trap. The silence of the desert must not embrace the clan. Well, so we'll see for now. So there's got some resistance here, but it's, well, it's mostly mostly weak units. Medium tank, yes. Oh, did you? Yeah, you just bombed my own guys. But that's, I guess, just something that happens. And yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. I've got some, some monstrous units here. And oh, I thought you were already dead, but you were not. So I <laughs> like how my MCV is just pushing that guy away. So let's get you down here and get yourself to get to deploy yourself. Here we go. Let's start with the power generator. And you guys can just blow up whatever you have here. And you should probably get fixed. There we go. And then let's get a gas processor straight away. This game got a couple of updates since the initial release and since I played it on this channel for the last time, which I do appreciate because a lot of those were directly related to requests by the community. There's also a new unit type, such as, but I'll we'll get to that in a moment, for now let's put you down here. There's a new, oh, enemy unit sighted, where, oh, here we go, oh, stealth tanks. So they've got high technology already. Hey. Not my construction yet, I need that. But luckily these guys are... They're mostly good at stealth, but at the same time... They... They aren't really utilized that way by the AI. So that's an advantage that I get, naturally. So there's also a new unit. There's the... the another missile soldier. It's one of homing missiles. Making infantry 5% um, more useful. But we'll get to that in a moment. We also need a barracks now to get access to our arms factory, which I don't think was quite the same before, but I might be mistaken here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay, you should probably get yourself repaired. And you guys get down here and kill these. Oh, I might lose that factory. Well, we'll see. Let's get the radar and let's get the... Let's get some base fence going, which you can now build in parallel to your main building. And that's another quality of life feature. Oh, I should probably get some, some base defense going first. Oh dear. Well, let's backstep you a little bit. And let's get... Let's hope oh, we can actually make this. Ooh, it looks looks a bit tense, but we'll see. But we oh, it looks like they dropped in some new airstrikes on the way. That's good. Uh, depending on what they're wait, unless it's an enemy airstrike, then it's of course not good. So let's fix that. Let's fix you, fix you, and let's put another one right here. Let's get some more power. You can now build. Oh, more infantry, that's okay. You can now build base defenses parallel to your regular buildings, which is rather convenient. And let's get an arms factory. Let's position you here. And you guys down here. So I don't have many units left, but what can you do? And you might as well wipe out these buildings. Not that's that it's terribly important, because uh, it's not like they're doing anything with those buildings. But nevertheless, I want them gone. So the new soldier is a homing wasp. And for the United Cities, it's the homing missile soldier. Uh, those have homing rockets, as their name strongly implies. I'm not quite sure how useful they are. And oh, I guess you guys should, should come down here again. That's some considerable firepower, but it's not too bad. So you should... Get yourself fixed. And you so do should you Let's get another one straight away. Yeah, these these 
these anti-tank base defenses, they still rule, they're still very good. And that's what you want to get if you have to hold out in one way or another. So, yet another one of these. Boom, there we go. And let's get another reactor down here. So, let's get maybe a gas truck or two. Let's fix you. You can take a step back. Put you down here. Get another one of you. Let's get another power plant. And you can actually you can you can kill these buildings here. Because you're you're rather weak anyway. So it's not not much point in having you in the front lines unless you want to get slaughtered straight away. So let's get the tower of the fanatics. For our super unit. And let's place another one of you here. And I know I can place you there because I saw yeah, there we go. So, and more base defenses. Let's get you fixed. Actually using the, the shortcut for that at, for once. And this is essentially where I want to be. So, another one here. But I do want some, some units as well. Okay, so they're repairing this as fast as they are. So I'm destroying it, so let's send you in as well. Even though what I could do, of course, is... Just drain their finances that way. Even though I'm not quite sure whether it works that way, maybe the AI just cheats with repairing. I wouldn't be entirely surprised, to be honest. So let's get these upgrades here because they're just so good. And boom. Don't know what you were, but you're dead now. So. And let's get some monster tanks. And we also want some. some dragon artillery, of course, because it's awesome. So. Yeah, they're, they're sending heavier stuff. Yeah, I I wonder... So there's a gas field here and there's one here. I wonder... Is there another base right next door? Because... I think the they always show you where the gas fields are, essentially. And... Whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh dear. Almost lost the tower there. But not quite, so we're good. And you guys almost managed to take that out. Almost. We were getting there, slowly but surely. Let's get some dragon artillery. And then let's re- yeah, here we go. You can actually stay here as defense. I don't think they will ever come around here, but just in case, because you never know. And I wonder what happened to that airstrike, because they, they did say they were airstriking stuff, but it doesn't seem like it. But speaking of which, I'll, I think I'll get at least one missile tower, because you never know what kind of uh, junk they threw my way. It's good to have at least uh, one or two missile towers because the AI tends to tends to focus on those. So if you have missile towers, you can actually have those not only fight whatever air units they send, but also essentially absorb the, the attacks. And if you keep your air towers repaired, they're actually pretty hard to take down. You need a considerable amount of of firepower to do that. Oh, oh, they actually they are harvesting right here. Those bastards. Well, we'll we'll get to you. Let's get two more dragon artillery and two more of these guys. Then we can probably move out. I'm not quite sure whether you can take them out, but it, oh, oh, okay. Hey, that's why you're dropping guys straight to my face. Why are you doing that? Well, at least it's just just one tank per per transport. Was probably a more realistic ratio. So, uh, to us, that wasn't actually that bad. So, and I think I might want to have some more defenses here because you never know. You never quite know what they're going to throw at me. But it seems there's a lot of weaker stuff coming from this direction here. Didn't I start building you? Well, I, I did now. What else do I want? Communication center. Mm -hmm. Nuclear missile, um, may as well get you, may I not, I mean, ultimately the nuclear missile, I, have to, I think I have to pay for it, but it's just the price of, like, two monster tanks, so it's not really all that expensive. And they're sending a little bit heavier stuff now. So let's, let's keep you guys intact. And then let's, let's start killing... Oh, look at that. So, let's select my artillery and let's take you out all from a distance because I don't really fancy running into enemy base defenses myself. I think I should probably get maybe one more of these. 
you guys could get out of the way, that would be great too. There we go. Uh, you, you can you can destroy whatever vehicles come my way. The rest of you, uh, you attack these base defenses because those those will well they won't kill me, but they will they will cause considerable pain. So, and you stay back a little bit. Yeah, but it looks like once I can take out these guys, at least I've got some some relief. And I may as well t attack their the harvesters here. So, and take this guy out, please. No, that's not... Whatever. Just move in. That was, that was bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, get a bunch more of these and a bunch more of those. Yeah, look how strong these are. Especially if they get repaired all the time. And this infantry, to be honest, it's still not great, but it's more useful than it used to be. So. And your muzzle fire seems to be frozen. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's take out their, their refinery. And their barracks. And their construction yard. And then this should be it. Yeah, the construction yard is. So oh, and, and they. Oh no, that wasn't their construction yard, that was their arms factory. So, yeah, that explains it. Okay, let's. Oh, you bastards. But this should be alright. So, we should, we should be fine here. So, let's take out their actual construction yard, which is a rather tough building. And, yeah, you, you guys you guys can deal with this. This isn't too much of a problem. And then you guys can move south and wipe out the rest of their base, which should essentially be helpless now, now that their production facilities are gone. And you guys can join in just to speed this up a little bit. And just in time, those guys start harvesting the enemy gas fields. Yeah, these, these things... Everybody kind of tries to avoid to call them gas holes for um, obvious reasons. It seems like this was one big base. And do they have production facilities down here? Maybe. Well, it doesn't really matter all that much. We should have enough firepower now to, to overwhelm them. Not quite sure why I'm focusing on this so much, but whatever. One thing I would like to see are still the side menus for stuff like the airstrike. Oh, my super weapon is actually ready. Convenient. And so let's... Let's just nuke some stuff here. The super weapon is not that strong, but to be honest, I, I kind of like that because... As much as I do like general's levels of super weapons, at the same time I kind of prefer the ones that are not completely completely game-changing, such as the ones from, from Act of War. Oh, and looks like they do have a full secondary base here. But not a problem for monster tanks. So, let's just take, try to take out their power. And uh, they probably have more defense on that other side, so it's the best option is probably to just waltz with their base here. And at this point it probably doesn't really matter all that much anyway. Because I don't think they have enough resources to stop me. There we go. And here we go. And are those their last two buildings? And do they have base defenses here? Because if they hadn't, then I probably should have come from this way here. Then again, here the most pressure was here, so... I guess that was still a good option. And nope, they have even made more base here. And they don't seem to have low power, or do they? Well, it doesn't really matter. I think oh no, I think these guys would have would be attacking me if they had if they actually still had power, but I don't think they do. So anything left here? I don't think I have to take oh wow, they have a lot of turrets here. I don't think I have to take out all of these, or do I? Well, mm, I may as well. But maybe I've overlooked a building here. A lone power plant or abandoned radar station. We'll see. Because I don't recall having to take out all the base defenses and campaign missions, but maybe the trap mode is different. Well, apparently it is. So yeah, we are victorious. Uh, that was quite interesting. It's a bit like a campaign mission, except it's less, it's a bit less scripted, and or it's maybe a little bit like a like a fancy skirmish match. In any case, what the hell is, are you? Are they still getting reinforcements? Come on, I won this. The victory screen is right here. Come on, guys, surrender as you're supposed to. 
Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.